Sponsored by Dr. Sonny O. The cost of insulin is higher here in the United States than it is in Canada. Lindsay Mills introduces us to a couple willing to travel every few months to save hundreds on the life-saving drug. Paul and Annie Thompson are planning their next road trip. This is July and we're already talking about, you know, the end of the middle of October. Their fall drive isn't for foliage. It's for a medicine that could potentially save Paul's life. They'll drive more than 300 miles from Waterville, Maine to St. Stephen, New Brunswick and back. They've done this drive once before. You have to because, you know, when your insulin's out, it's out and, you know. You, you were down to that day. That day when I went over to get it. I had enough to last me that day in my pump. Paul has type 2 diabetes with type 1 tendencies. He and Annie will drive to Canada every three months for the foreseeable future to get the insulin he needs. Why? That road trip saves them hundreds of dollars. It is a crisis. The Thompsons are one example of people who have traveled to Canada for cheaper insulin. Without insurance, the Thompsons say they would have to pay over $3,800 for a three-month supply. With Medicare supplemental insurance, it costs them greater than $600 for the same amount. In Canada, for a 90-day supply, the price was approximately $400 Canadian just over $300 American. Senator Susan Collins is supporting a new bipartisan bill to roll back a decade of insulin price hikes. What we found is a highly complex, opaque system that is riddled with conflicts of interest. The Insulin Price Reduction Act is designed to hold pharmacy benefit managers, pharmaceutical companies, and insurers accountable for surging prices of insulin by encouraging list price reductions. It's about time. Paul and Annie are hopeful this could be the solution to finding affordable medicine at their own neighborhood pharmacy. Until then, they'll continue to spend time to save. It was so simple. I mean, I don't understand why I hadn't done it before. According to the American Diabetes Association, there are more than 30 million Americans with diabetes. The disease costs the United States more than $327 billion per year.